Now, he started as a record executive, president of Urban Music for Sony, for Geffen, uh, was the former manager of Mary J. Blige and Nas, went on, now transitioned into the advertising arena, where he went on to win many awards, including, uh, most recently, the Innovator of the Year Award at the Ad Color Awards, and the American Advertising Federation inducted this man into their Advertising Hall of Achievement. And he's a black man. You better believe it. Steve Stout is in the building. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. That was a great intro. Well, you know, I practiced it. was like a drum roll. That was fantastic. <laughs> in addition to everything else that I just mentioned, you're now an author. Yeah. He has a new book out. Tell him about it. It's called The Tanning of The Tanning of America. America. I wanted to write a book um, that spoke a lot about the behind the scenes of both industries. And then I wanted to tell them in stories that were very practical to everybody who's at home. Because, you know, whether you're in the music business or the advertising business, that's really not the premise of the book. You know, when you leave and change careers from going from, you know, a record executive, a job in which everybody coveted, and I decided to go into the advertising business, you know, you have to learn to find the comfort in uh, discomfort. You have to be able to be able to follow your passion and your dream and, and, and make that shift. Outside of that, I wrote a book for young marketing executives, young executives, so that they could uh, propel their career. It's very important that you all know that, you know, everybody listening knows that, you know, if you are part of this generation, it was something, this is a transformative generation. It's phenomenal mm -hmm. what we've seen, our purchasing power, and how we could use those things that we've obtained throughout our travels and apply it to business to further our careers. The book is called The Tanning of America. The man is Steve Stout. And you know, before you go, I often leave my listeners um, with just some words of wisdom. I call it my victory thought. And as you're here, I, would, I want you to sort of take the reins on this one because you've been successful in transitioning uh, from the record business into advertising and then mastering it. And you have so many people, especially in this economy, trying to reinvent themselves. They don't like where they are and they want to change their circumstances, yeah. but they don't know how. And then you have those who are still trying to find their purpose. You know, where, where do I fit in to this whole thing? What, what is my calling? Do you have any words of advice or you wisdom know, for them? I heard something. Uh, by Steve Harvey actually said this to me and he was talking about your gift and it was the thing that you do the best that comes the easiest to you and I, and I never thought about that before like that is your talent the thing that you do the best that comes the easiest to you and a lot of people have a predetermined thing that they want to do but not necessarily does it fall into that criteria and I believe that you should do whatever you can to get into that space. If you are the best at what you do, you will make a lot of money. You'll be very successful. You'll be fulfilled. If you have predetermined things, like I want to be a singer, but you can't sing worth, or you want to be a, but you can't do that really well. I, I love the energy. I love the aspiration. I love all the effort you're putting behind it. But there's actually people standing in front of you who do that very well, and it comes easy to them. And that's the fight you're fighting. I would also say that play for the right audience. A lot of people play for the wrong audience. You got to play for the right audience. You know, you can't put your act on the wrong stage. And the wrong stage is trying to impress people, but not necessarily impressing yourself. And a lot of times you find out that reality very far in life, in your 50s, 60s. You find out all the things that you did that wasn't really for you, but it was for somebody else. It took me into my 30s, trust yeah. me. <laughs> you know, so so I would play for the right audience, yeah. and, the, and the audience is yourself. Uh, like I said, in writing this book, I took all of those experiences that I had. I working in Fortune 500 companies, you know, with without a formal college education, but yet trying to convince them that what they were doing was wrong. And there was a lot of resistance. People didn't want to hear that they were wrong coming from me, a young African American. They didn't have the credentials that they expected, you know, from that person to have that point of view. And I speak about how to get your point across despite having those obstacles in front of you. When I talk about you know, falling in love with the pain of hard work or finding the comfort and discomfort, those are all things you have to do to get your point across. It's your responsibility for people to hear you. You have to make sure you are hurt.